Well, hello there, Leo. It looks like you never expected for this person to re-enter the atmosphere. And you couldn't be more excited to reconnect. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Leo Tarot reading. It is a general reading usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended to this video or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. Guest of honor, I will take it. Number 22 reduced to a four. I love this energy. That, that it, means, it means the situation is focusing on you. And Pixie Perot, okay. Number 36 reduced to a nine. You're going through a cycle fast. Really fast. Okay. I mean, clearly the feeling of what is deserved is coming in, but there's... What is it that's slowing this down, though? Well, we'll find out. Hold on. Okay. Guest of honor. It says, have you ever felt like you were on the outside looking in? Maybe like everyone else has found their place, really belonging to someone or something, having set themselves up for life with you still working out how to get past the security guards at the front gate. It's time for your outsider status to change. You are invited to the inner circle. Opportunity. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Pixie Perot. There is an original you. The you that has always been and will always be you. No matter how much the outer forms of your body, your work, your lifestyle, your world seem to change, the original essential you is always there within, unique, precious, and just as you were created to be. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why it feels like it's like, got it. Okay. Something where it feels slow to get to this point, And then once you do, you speed up. Got it. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you guys chance to be the original you and being celebrated for it i'm a fan show me what's going on with leo please show me what's going on with leo please show me what's going on with leo please okay. i feel like there might be a home change in there for someone Queen of Pentacles underneath. Six of Pentacles. Emperor card of Aries. Queen of Cups. Four of Cups. Oh, King of Pentacles. Taurus Energy. Five of Wands. Five of Cups. So, okay. I'm reading this to you. This, them, this situation. I do like how you're showing up as the Emperor, even though. Um, Aries is your fire cousin, but the strength coming with this, it's almost like taking ownership over previously losing a connection. This doesn't feel like an X. This feels like something that never happened. Just general missed opportunity in dating and life kind of thing. Like there's no one person, you know, has angst towards the other or anything like that. Okay. Got it. The guest of honor is them. The guest of honor is them. You don't expect them to show up again. There's something that happens where this person incurs a loss while they are building some form of stability. And as they build some form of stability, their heart blooms. Okay. So they're they're available. They're emotionally available. Even while going through and processing loss of some kind. Okay. We'll see what that's about. And what this does is bring this person back into your hemisphere. Could literally be the guest of honor of a party, sure. Okay. Perhaps you weren't in your emperor energy in the past, because this is calling for you to be your authentic you, right? But you're showing me, you're showing us, that you are in capable, more than capable energy to obtain what it is that you want. Maybe you were a Knight of Wands before. Maybe you were a Page of Wands before. Maybe you were some other previous form 
where this wouldn't have worked if you got together. But now this person, it has like a flight trajectory. They could be boarding a plane. It's almost like either getting a job back at the same company or moving into your neighborhood, whatever it is. They're making some sort of incoming. Okay. Show me the six of pentacles, the details of the six of pentacles. Hmm. Page of Swords, Hierophant, Six of Swords, Fool, Two of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me, where's my cup of tea? Hmm. I'm going to have to heat that back up again in a second. Um. So it feels like you watch them from a distance in some sort of way giving your time and attention to this person in pieces. So you could possibly watch them on social media and you give yourself permission to go in their direction when they give off certain signals or clues, like they're changing their life in some kind of way, starting a new job, buying a house, whatever it is. Something happens that triggers you. Okay. Where you allow yourself to take the action. Okay. Show me the emperor. Leo here. Seven of Cups. What do I do? I don't know what to do, so I'm going to do nothing. That's fair. It's better than doing the wrong thing, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, that's better. Okay. But you maintain quiet. Okay, so I don't even know if this person even knows that you keep an eye on them. Okay, because again, it's not like this is there's ill will between the two. This is something that just like maybe you went on a first date. And whatever previous version of yourselves you were didn't click then. Okay. Show me the four of cups, please, for Leo. Five of pentacles. Two of cups, ten of cups. You are afraid to want this because you know that there's going to have to be significant change. Okay. It's reflecting in your physical world, but this is more emo mental, emotional change, but you're noting it as physical. Okay. Um, Capricorn energy there for those of you keeping track. Um, you're noting that it would require change in your physical world to, accom to accommodate a two of cups and ten of cups. That's so beautiful that it scares you. It scares you to want something this awesome. Because, I mean, if you lose something this awesome, then that's really going to hurt, right? Is it the real deal? Yeah, it's the real deal. Real deal. And it's, it's incredibly tempting, isn't it? Show me the five of wands, please, for Leo. Ace of wands. Ace of cups. Seven of Swords. You might have to break up with someone else to make this happen. Star there on the bottom card of Aquarius. Um, Libra energy there. You may you may reach out to them in secret and like not tell anybody. They seem to be excited about it. But are you currently in a thing though? You're in, you, you, you're telling me it's over. King of Swords, King of Cups, Lovers, World. The truth is things have changed and it's over. That's what you're telling me. That you're starting over after quite the ending. Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and then more fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Any more about that connection? Virgo energy. So it made you realize just how much you want a long-term thing, but to actually actively contribute to what that looks like. Not that you didn't before, but it, maybe you settled in the past or let the other person's vision for life dominate the relationship. Okay. You're seeing that you would be most happy and content with long-term if you co-created 
which is true. That's true. You should have a say in what your life looks like, right? You should have a say in what your life looks like. Okay. This one. Okay. Let's get into it. See what's going on with them. Let's start with the Queen of Cups, please. Four of Wands, Three of Wands, Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords. Hmm. So when this person moves themselves, their life, whatever, whether it's a new company, a new house, whatever, a new place to live, whatever, there's something where their heart gets to finally settle. I don't know if they were in a chaotic environment before, but they're at least they were at least in a situation that caused anxiety and sleep problems. Okay. And settling in a new four of wands, new foundation, okay, as they're building theirs as well. Okay. Um, they actually see the end of that problem in sight. Okay. Show me the king of pentacles, please. Two of wands, ten of cups, eight of cups. This person, got it, that's smart. Um, this person is so focused on what it is that they're building when it comes to their lives, their purpose, their passion, whatever that is, that if they were to turn towards personal relationship, they will only settle for a ten of cups. You both have it in the same row. They will only settle for a ten of cups. Nothing else. If it's if it's not that, they don't want to see it. If it's not that, they don't want to see it. Show me the five of cups, please. Page of wands, nine of wands, devil, card of Capricorn, strength card of Leo. Nice. Ah, so in the situation that they were in, the situation where they incurred loss, okay, where there was communication that's showing me that involved a support system that went awry or bad, and they kind of had to fix themselves while they were in it because they had to wait and this is depending on what you believe and who you believe, mother, father, God, universe, whatever. There was a path that the universe was going to open for them, and they knew they had to wait. They were, they knew what they were they were to see it when it arrived or when it opened, but they couldn't move. They couldn't move until then. In the meantime, they had to fix themselves while staying in that situation. Okay. So, what is Leo going to say to this person when they contact them with a secret? Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. You really want to talk to them. Empress, Card of Taurus and Libra, Ten of Pentacles. There's a bit of an, I'm sorry this didn't work out before. But I'd really like it to work out now. Just the Three of Swords. Star. Four cups, yes. Noting a missed opportunity, so, and someone even saying due to their own ego. Aquarius energy, seven of cups, please. Oh, that's kind of sweet. <laughs> uh, ten of wands, five of cups, full queen of pentacles. Um, you're basically telling this person that you would like them to take a risk on you, King of Cup, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, take a risk on allowing you to create safe space, safe relationship container, so they can so they can continue to feel safe to process loss. Okay, that's very sweet. That's very sweet. Okay. Well, they're excited to hear from you. I don't know why you feel like you got to do it in secret, even though. Uh, let's find out. <laughs> why does Leo communicate with this person in secret?
there's at least one person that doesn't like the idea of you starting over. Especially if it's something that develops into something significant. There's someone that doesn't want to see you happy. Pisces, tor double Taurus energy. There's someone that doesn't want to see you happy. That things ended with, hearts were broken. Boy, okay, it feels like it's two people. Taurus, Gemini, Leo energy. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. It feels like it's two different people. One feels like an ex-spouse, something that ended in a big way. And another one feels like a crazy ex. That still like fantasizes about you or some shit like that. <laughs> That's not healthy. That is not. That is not healthy. It will. Will these two people give this empress a problem? Or Leo? They will watch. Like a hawk. And eventually comment something. Yep, they will eventually say something. One or both. Alrighty. I'm gonna head over to the extended. <laughs> I'm gonna see what's going on with this person. I'm gonna see what's going on with them in their current energy near future and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing. Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.